What's up YouTubers? Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove these upper kitchen cabinets and we're going to open up this whole space. These are some drop down cabinets that separate the dining room and the kitchen. If you guys are new to my channel, do me a favor, click the subscribe and the notification bell so you can get all my new videos. All right, let's get to it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here and where the cabinet meets the ceiling, we're gonna take a utility knife and we're gonna drag it right in that gap all along because chances are someone will have painted and may have closed that gap. And if you go ahead and pull it without doing this, you're gonna end up pulling a lot of the paint and you're gonna pull a lot of your texture down. So take the time and run a knife right along that edge. I'll make sure I put links down in the description to all the tools and supplies I'm using today for you guys. Now we'll go ahead and open our cabinets and we're gonna look up and we're gonna see how it's fastened to the ceiling. And if you look right here, we can see that there are three screws. If you have older cabinets, chances are it's gonna actually be mounted with nails. So for nails, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take some sort of a flat bar, a pry bar, and you're gonna gently get it between the ceiling and the cabinet, and you're gonna pry it, but before you pry it, you're gonna wanna stick a block in between the ceiling and the pry bar. That's gonna give you a little bit more leverage, and it's also gonna prevent you from damaging your drywall or plaster and texture and you're gonna pry it down a little bit. Once you get it down, then you can use a larger pry bar and really start pulling it down. And you can use your hammer too to uh, get the pry bar in between the two. So since mine is screwed in, I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew it. I'm gonna leave the one in the middle and just do the two on the edges. And there should be screws in each section of the cabinet. Okay, now we'll do those last two screws. Since we have some helpers down here, do this side, ready? Okay, now I want to reuse this cabinet we just took down, but it looks like it's going to need some modifications because on the side right here that was tucked behind the other upper cabinet, it's not really finished. So I think I'm going to cut this whole side off and finish this off and then it looks like we're going to need a little trim work around here. And also since this, we had it mounted up to the ceiling, I want to actually mount it to the wall through the back and it's just got this thin quarter inch veneer on the backing so we're gonna have to add some more strips right here to the inside back so that'll be supported when we go in to the studs and also since we're gonna mount it through the back we're gonna need to take off all this trim on the back we'll just go ahead and pull this off it's just on with some finished nails comes off super easy didn't even have to use my pry bar. We don't really want it jutting out of the wall. Now we wanna go ahead and save all these trim pieces and what you can do is see the nails are coming through the front. Don't pull them from the front. We're gonna go ahead and use some of these. These are end nipper pliers. I'll put links down in the description of these, but you just grab it all the way at the base and then you can just rock it back and it's gonna pull that nail through the back and then you're not gonna gouge up the surface or anything. Some people will pound it through with a nail, but then it ends up splitting the wood through the face. So just pull it through the back whenever you're dealing with trim pieces. We'll go ahead and start this cut with a jigsaw so we can get really close to this finish edge. Now we'll finish the cut with the circular saw. When 
I took it apart, I was able to save that sideboard, so I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue down on the joints. And then the same thing with this one when we glued it and this is going to go all the way at the top of the back. Now where we removed the cabinet, if you look, you can see it's actually unfinished drywall right here. So now I'm going to have to uh, prime this spot first and then we're going to put a coat on. I actually went ahead and filled all those screw holes with some drywall compound. I'll just go ahead and take my putty knife and we're gonna scrape off any high spots of those patched holes. This is the primer we're gonna be using. This is Kills. Make sure you use a good quality primer like Kills or Bullseye is good. Okay, now before we hang the cabinets, we're gonna wanna go ahead and find where our studs are on the wall and mark those. Uh, you can do that with just a simple magnet. By running the magnet, it'll grab onto the nail or screw heads underneath the drywall. Could also use a stud finder or simply knock. You can hear how it changes. And then they take a level and you're going to want to get that nice and straight and draw a line in the center of the stud. That way we'll be able to screw right into the center of a stud while we've got the cabinet up. Now before I lift the cabinet, I'm going to go ahead and measure to see where the bottom of the cabinet is. And I'm going to look for something that we can set it on. Another trick if you're doing a high one, you can go ahead and just mount a little board across the stud so that you can lean that upper cabinet. On top. I actually ended up putting one up here upwards into the header and then I anchored it into the side of the other cabinet here and here. I think it looks a lot better without that cabinet hanging way down low. So uh, hopefully you guys found something in this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll make sure to reply to those. And if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell so you can get all my new videos. Thanks for watching Johnny DIY. Keep on doing it yourself, guys. Take care.